bitch, we the motherfucking boys. Dexter, YBI. Together. And things just don't change overnight. Things don't change for the next fight or uh, so. You have to keep working. You have to keep pushing. You have to keep working. You have to keep pushing, keep working, keep pushing until you get what you want. And I'm at this point in time where I'm narrowing it down. And come, come the night of the fight, we'll see if I got it or not. This fight, I'm holding it as my last stance, my last chance, you know? And that's what I'm taking it. Uh, accordingly asked, you know, and I'm just ready to do what I, what I, what I've, what I'm known to do. You understand to be the wilder that I am, you know, I lost my love and, and the passion for this business. I lost my hunger hmm, for so many different reasons, you know, but now I'm in an opportunity where I'm dealing with people that love the craziness, the love, uh, the wildness of Wilder, the love that Wilder that say he want a body on his record, Wilder. And it's amazing to be around people that appreciate what they see in front of them. It's amazing to be, you know, you know tied in to people that love what we, what we do. People don't understand what we do and how we have to do it and get to, get to that point. This is not an easy task that we do. Boxing is, is, it's straight, strictly a business. It's not a sport for me. I always say the business of boxing, and that's what it is accordingly. We risk our lives for you guys entertainment, and here I am again. <laughs> I'm not playing around this time. I have nothing to lose. I feel like I've lost a lot of things in my life, even some of the closest people in my life. So I don't feel like I have nothing else to lose, but only to gain. And this fight, we're going to tell, we're going to see. It's enough of the talking. I even told my team, I don't want to hear how good I look, how I am, this and this. I'm not going to even be posting too much this time around because I mean business. I can feel the desire and the sensation in my heart again. That hunger, that monster, that beast is coming back. The pain that I've endured over these last years, it's going to be, it's, 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 you will see what I'm talking about comes the night of the fight. So good luck to all and uh and to all a good night. Man, this shit pains me to say. I mean, this shit hurts me to say what I'm about to say, man. I I never thought it would come to this, man. I really and I'm being 100% honest with you. I'm giving it to you flat out. Deontay Wilder is fucking done. And when I say done, I mean finito. It's a wrap. A fucking wrap. Now look how these motherfuckers looking at Wilder. All these niggas looking at this nigga. Like, nigga, is you retarded? Look how Eddie Hearn is looking at that motherfucker. Look at this shit. This nigga over here laughing. Look at the security guard. Like, man, this motherfucker tripping. This nigga over here with the crazy ass glasses looking at the nigga like he crazy. This nigga like, man, I wish he hurried the fuck up. And this nigga on the end, like, what the fuck is he talking about? And what's up with all these weird ass facial gestures, Wilder? That's female energy, bruh. You on some weird shit, bruh. Now you just got your ass whooped by Joseph Parker. Well, this nigga knocked the testosterone rings out your ass and you were swinging side-fisted like a female. And now you come back and want us to believe that you're hungrier than ever and we should take you serious. So let me get this straight. You cut your hair off, you got this nose ring, and you got these weird-ass earrings in your ear white boy type of fucking earrings and you make him female facial and eye gestures and body movements but you want your hardcore to this day fans to take you serious no nah, bro you on some weird shit you on some fucking weird shit you're gonna get your ass whooped 
You're fighting a nigga that I'll weigh you probably about 150 fucking pounds. And, and, and I just don't think you all there, bro. You're doing it for the money. And I don't know why you're letting these people take advantage of you. I don't know if it's the finances that got you doing this, but you ain't right, brother. And as a real brother to another brother, you need people like me to tell you, hey, that ain't the move. I don't even know if he still got that garbage ass trainer Malik Scott in his corner. And I'm calling Malik Scott a garbage ass trainer off that one fucking fight because I still don't know what the fucking game plan was with Joseph Parker. And if you see your fighter in there looking lost, confused, bewildered, you're going to light a fire up under your boxer's ass when he comes to that corner. And you failed to do that, Malik Scott. I haven't heard one fucking bomb squad come out this nigga's mouth during this press conference. How do we f supposed to think that we're going to get the old water back? Nah, I ain't falling for it. Niggas at the press conference looking at you like you're fucking crazy. You got a nigga laughing in your face when you're talking. Never before have I seen anyone react to Deontay Wilder in this type of fashion. It's a fucking rap. And this shit hurts me to say this. Because at one time, Deontay Wilder was my number one fighter. I supported him and liked him like I like Devin Haney right now. Even before the last fight. And just the lead up to the fight to Joseph Parker. I was looking suspicious at Deontay Wilder. Just all the bullshit that was coming out with him and that fucking girl they got. The fucking gay-ass jokes or gay-ass questions she was asking the nigga on her podcast. The simple fact that you answered them fucking questions was unmanly to me. Then the video come out of you twerking like a twerkologist. Like, who the fuck? Where the fuck? Okay, you get one strike and, and, and you raise an eyebrow. And you bet not never approach no shit like that again in your career. But two strikes and then three strikes. Now you got on some gay ass earrings. You got a fucking weird ass dyke looking haircut. And you, you're making female energetic eye and hand and facial gestures. Got niggas laughing in your face, looking at you crazy. But you want us to pay a pay-per-view for this shit? Nigga, get your ass out of here. You ought to be ashamed of your damn self, Deontay Wilder. You most definitely need your ass beat. And that's just flat out. Turning, got me off that real nigga shit. One day took five perkins. Went to sleep, woke up, taking more pills. Caught me slipping off the hen. Was celebrating they nigga did. Leave his ass right while I catch him. Matt, don't diss me and no rap, nigga. I was selling dope, not ten rats for a trap. Drop another tape, the label's coming with a bigger bag. I did some fucked up shit up in my life, but I don't feel bad. I'm that nigga from the jet, so hood, pay me my respect. But my time down like a man, for I talk to the tech. Who that getting gas in the hood? Hold on, hang out the window. Smoking dead ass with my nigga, ho, that's all I remember. Like up, you ain't send me no mail, I ain't gon' hold that shit against you. Shit was never over, still tryna duck a sentence.